A lot of you have probably heard me tell the story of the time just about a week before, no, a few days before the vote. And I did an interview with uh, CKNW in which the host said, uh, with all due respect, you couldn't get elected dog catcher. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, you know, at the time I thought, funny how that all due respect thing didn't make it to the end of the sentence. But, but you know, at, with some time to digest his question, I realized that he was absolutely right. Because I, I would never run for dog catcher. <laughs> I, I would be a terrible dog catcher. I, I would not be able to surrender any breed of mutt or Heinz 57 rescue dog. There's no way I'd leave them anywhere where they were at risk of being euthanized. I would be hoarding dogs. I would be condemned as a dog catcher immediately. It would break all the health laws. I mean, it's, just, it's not thinkable. So fortunately, I did know that although I would be a terrible dog catcher, I was running to be your member of parliament, and I was fairly certain that I would be an excellent member of parliament because I love parliament. <laughs> so, and I love democracy. And I knew the rules of parliament well enough to know that it simply wasn't true what the national media said next. They seamlessly moved from Greens will never get elected, right? To well, they're all happy a Green got elected, but we'll never hear from her again because one MP can't do anything. Now again, when you reflect on that, that's actually true if you're an MP in the conservative, liberal, and your Democratic Party. <laughs> and, it's, and honestly, I do mean this from the bottom of my heart. My friends in all those parties are wonderful people but they're not allowed to color outside the lines.